What is dependency injection? Dependency injection is a design pattern used in software development to achieve loose coupling between components, enhance testability, and improve code maintainability. It involves injecting dependencies or external objects or services that a class or function relies on into a class or function rather than having the class or function create or manage those dependencies itself. So how does dependency injection work? In traditional programming, if a class or function needs another object or dependency, it would create that object directly. So in this diagram, class A uses some methods of class B, so it would create class B in order to access its dependent methods. With dependency injection, instead of creating dependencies internally, they are passed into the class or function from the outside, typically by a container or a framework responsible for managing object creation and wiring. So as I mentioned, there's a couple of key concepts, including the concept of dependencies, which are objects or services that a class relies on to function properly. For example, if a class needs a logger service, the logger is the dependency. And then the second component is the injection process. So this is the process of passing these dependencies into the class, and this can be done in various ways. Number one is constructor injection, which is when dependencies are passed through the class's constructor. Number two is setter injection. So dependencies are provided through setter methods after the object is constructed. And number three is interface injection, in which the dependency is passed by implementing an interface that defines a method to inject the dependency. So now let's look at this Java compiler and let's paste in a piece of code that does not use dependency injection. So this is the traditional method in which we have a client class that contains a service member variable initialized in the constructor. So you can see that the client directly constructs and controls which service it uses by creating a hard-coded dependency. And now let's take a code snippet that uses constructor injection. So this is the most common form of dependency injection in which a class requests its dependencies through its constructor. And this ensures that the client is always in a valid state since it cannot be instantiated without its necessary dependencies. Notice that we check that if the service is null, we throw a new illegal argument exception. Otherwise, we instantiate the service in which we have this.service equals service. And this ensures that the client is always in a valid state with a proper service dependency. Next, we have an example of setter injection. So in this code snippet, we're accepting dependencies through a setter method rather than through the constructor. So clients can allow injectors to manipulate their dependencies at any time. And this offers flexibility, but it makes it difficult to ensure that all dependencies are injected and valid before the client is used. As in the constructor injection case, we're able to guarantee that when the constructor is called, we ensure that the service is already valid. And finally, we have an example of interface injection. So here in main.java, we have at a high level, the service setter interface. And this defines a contract for classes that need to have a service injected. It requires an implementation of the set service method to assign a service instance. And then we have the client class. So this class implements the service setter interface and it has a private field to store a service and ensures that the service is assigned to not null. And this class represents a client that depends on a service to perform its operations. And finally, we have the service injector class. And this class acts as a container that manages service instances and their clients. So it has methods to add clients and inject an initial service into them. And it also has a method to switch the service for all registered clients to another implementation, in this case, another example service. 